and tell you right up front, I have a couple of children and I have a couple of animals, and I think what you're doing is delightful. Explain to us about Christmas and kids All right, and I'm little dogs and I'm very glad to be cats. here. Um, <clears throat> the idea is, uh, I had really not thought about it very much until I joined uh, the um, animal of, uh, interest. And I, now I, I think about a lot of things that I didn't before, and that was um, not giving children uh, uh, immediately with Christmas. Uh, a, a new toy, a new, not a new toy, a new pet, because it can turn into a new toy uh, more than a pet. And the, the idea is that because of the confusion and excitement uh, of Christmas, uh, sometimes a new pet is, pet is neglected and not taking the care of that it should be, and, th and the introducing uh, to the family and to the sur surroundings that I think a little animal needs. Perhaps and, then a better time of the year, not yeah, that kids mm, and dogs yes, shouldn't oh, be together, oh, I, but maybe yes. not on Christmas morning. Because I don't think there's anything nicer than a, than a dog or sure. cat, pet, or any kind, some kind of a pet for a child, I think is almost imperative. But I, I think that, that this is a very good and wise uh, suggestion that not right at Christmas along with everything else to wait until there's a little quieter time to do it. How did you get involved with the uh, Friends of Animals? Well, I uh, got some, uh, had mail to me exactly how, I don't know, as we, one does in the mail, a lot of things, and, and uh, it was a, a, a plea for funds for uh, various reasons. I think it was the, the whales and, and, and various things that uh, they're interested in, so many of them. And of course, you get a lot of them, and I like this one especially because I like what the, the general attitude of it and also the fact that for me it was here and uh, that was nicer than trying to do something in California. You could send your money but you don't really see yeah. the results of it. So I've been uh, trying to do as, send as much as I possibly can and uh, then I had a nice note from him thanking me and it was through that uh, and, and that I was able to be a little more generous uh, uh, perhaps than some people but I, I feel so strongly about it. I, I, I prefer to give all I can to it. And uh, so in that way, we got acquainted. And uh, I went to uh, and, and, uh, several uh, sort of gatherings and uh, uh, was very, very interested in what they were doing. And I liked, in general, the attitude. And so I started to, to do what I can for them. Basically, it's this, I think, and perhaps reading announcements over the air for them, that sort of thing. Well, this is a very worthwhile effort. Just want to change the subject for a minute and say that, you know, as we mentioned, that you um, are associated with uh, The Wizard of Oz and Cora on the commercials, but through your many years, I mean, you've worked with all the greats. Um, what are some of the highlights that you remember? I remember reading some background material about you and Katherine Hepburn and how her mm -hmm. niceness to you uh, pleased you and surprised you. Uh, you must have had some nice moments with some famous people. Well, I have. Uh, you know, it's, it's hard always to sort them out. This had to be a very uh, definite one with hers, with her. And uh, I was so very pleased. I, I didn't really know her at all. And uh, you know, you're always a little bit uh, uh, careful uh, when, when you're with uh, with a big star. And uh, but I've never really, uh, it's never bothered me very much because since, as I said once before, that uh, uh, you're, I'm not beautiful, so I'm no competition. So we always get along beautifully. <laughs> And I never had any trouble, really. Once, and, once or twice, I've had a little difficulty with sort of misunderstandings, but uh, not anything very serious. Did you ever work with W.C. Fields? Yes, I did. <laughs> I, I know somebody who worked with him and said he was mean to kids and dogs. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? How did, uh, I, I don't know. I didn't have that experience at all. You know, I think that's so interesting about life in general. You will, will just hate somebody that somebody else will just love. Of course. And it's because the experiences have been that. I think that's what makes it. You've had some, perhaps an unpleasant experience, or the other person's had one, mm -hmm. and you've had only Well, he pleasant. was a kid actor. <laughs> so, well, I'll tell you, <laughs> I, I, think, I think that that's, that's probably very true, but I, I think that I didn't have any idea that he really felt that way. I always thought that was just a, a, a very good pose to take that uh, aroused people in one way or another. But to my mind, he was one of the nicest gentlemen that I ever worked with, really. Mm -hmm. And he did drink, of course, as everybody said, but everybody took that first granted, you know. And But I never really saw him drunk, I must say. I'm sure I haven't been around him very much, perhaps, but it was uh, during the, the working period there didn't seem to be any difficulty about that. Well, I think he was a pro. Um, to a certain extent, he imbibed a little bit, had a little touch, but I don't guess it interfered with his work a lot. Some of the the things he did with his hands, I don't think you could have much booze in you. He was so good with no. doing things. The, the pool sequence, mm. I remember, out of one picture, you yeah, couldn't do wonderful. that. You could not have done that scene drunk. He had to have been sober. I want to thank you for coming. I think your advice about 
uh, kids and, and small pets is, is excellent. Wait till it's quieter around the house maybe and give the little animal a better chance to get acquainted mm -hmm. with her family and not have to compete with the electric trains yeah. and everything. We want to wish you a happy holiday season and thank you for being our guest and on I Live at Five. I wish you the same. Thank you very much for having me. Thank Margaret you. Hamilton, one of the nice ladies in our business. That's our program for this week, Five at Five. We hope you'll join us on Monday. You have a great weekend.